All of the greatest inventors of our world have shared one quality. They didn't give up. When lots of people would have just thrown their hands in the air and walked away, these men and women kept fighting for their vision, their ideas. Many of these inventors went from failures to famous. Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Matt Anderson is curator of transportation at the Henry Ford Museum. And we talked about how many notable innovators failed their way forward. Absolutely. Is there a perspective on failure that the great innovators share? I think there is. There's this understanding that failure is just a part of the innovation process. And we see it in people like Thomas Edison, who always said his work was 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration, that you know failure was just a part of all that work. We saw it in the Wright brothers. They had all kinds of trouble with their 1901 glider, and they went back and found out that the calculations they were using to develop lift on the plane were incorrect. So they just buckled down and tried again and found success in 1903. We see it in people like Igor Sikorsky with the helicopter. He wanted to build a helicopter as early as about 1910. But he realized that the technology just wasn't mature enough to make it happen, so he was patient enough to wait until the 1930s. What we can see is that failure can open our eyes to new ways of doing things. Take Henry Ford. Did you know that he didn't succeed right away in the automotive industry? So he decides, I'm going to start a... One solution that works, you did try two, three, even four solutions that didn't. So it takes a lot of time, and that's really development. You think it will work? Well, it doesn't. So why? So you learn by doing, and you learn by mistake. If you think you have a good idea, then just go for it. There's going to be a lot of naysayers out there. But if you believe in yourself, and you're tenacious, then you can make it happen. Just start talking to people, get it out there. The way that we really got started on this idea was by connecting with people in the community. We didn't just sit in our house and work in it. We put it on the internet, we answered design competitions. I think it's actually really liberating to put it out there in the world and start talking about it. And that's, that's where the real traction comes from. You have to be really passionate. You should do it because you care, um, because you're gonna have a lot of ups and downs. And high level, I would say, think really big, start small and iterate quickly. You're gonna have failures, and no matter what you do in life, you know, whether that's in innovation or in business, whatever route you decide to take, there's always gonna be failures, but the best thing to do is learn from them and never give up. One of the main things that has been really good for me is perseverance. I'm a naturally an idea person attracted to new ideas, but I see that this wouldn't have gone anywhere if I just moved on to the next idea. It wasn't just the first experiment that worked, it was the 50th experiment that worked, right? I just started doing this and I fell in love with it immediately, so I didn't think about making it a profession or just anything like that. I just did it because I absolutely loved it. And that's the best advice I can give to any artist. If you love something and it's really obscure or whatever, just do it anyway. You gotta believe and you gotta continue believing because there will be many points along the way where you will feel deflated. You will have very well-meaning people tell you all the reasons why you might fail. And if you listen to that and if you listen to any self-doubt, then you will. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're open to pivoting, open to listening, you will eventually arrive at a successful place. And remember, your definition of success is determined by you. So find your passion and prepare to fly.